collective intelligence is like a bridge that can bridge people with very different concerns of society together. But it's never a complete bridge, nor can technology fill in the complete bridge. But the bridge making is what unifies everybody's efforts in those uh, common spaces. So I feel um, a sense of, of seeking, a sense of searching, a sense of uh, trying ever and again, try to find a way for us to live together in a way that puts trust in strangers, trust in uh, our neighbors first. And it's, it's a, a yearning uh, is how I mostly feel. It's never completely satisfied, but there's this yearning uh, that has been ever going on ever since uh, that year. Yeah, I, I, I'm not living in a dream. Uh, I'm very satisfied with, with the current reality. So I, I would say, of course, the future is already here. It's just not evenly distributed. <laughs> not everywhere in the world uh, it has the same kind of people as Media Lab Prado, and which is, again, why we're working to not just scale up our uh, technological tools or scale out our deployments, but scaling deeply so that uh, our feelings touch more people and other people's feelings touch us. So um, in the terms of political systems, this means very uh, simply to take some policy issues, to take some controversial issues, not only for its results, but for the process of how we get to the results. And the process itself is the product, it's in the commons, it's, it could work regardless of the issues uh, in the future. I think the way you, you said it, federation, it, it's, it's spot on, it, it's the right image, right? Uh, it's federated in a sense that there is a, now a federal government in a sense, it's just coded in software. Uh, it's not coded in, not yet in the code of law, right? Um, but then uh, I think it's also federated in a sense, as I described, it's a re-decentralization of sorts. Instead of everybody having a top-down national government or the EU government, uh, we now have a federated way for the cities to share their process, their improvements, their innovations in a way that is not exactly peer-to-peer, but it's federated, it's replicated through software. So um, I see a lot of very promising trends out of this, especially the chance to do uh, serious comparative studies of different modes of deploying these things, like how deep it really is the deliberative quality, how do we deploy different modes of uh, augmented uh, understanding to make sure that people know what they're debating before they're debating it, and things like this. And I think it is great that you have this uh, fertile ground of comparative study. We're doing very much the same thing with the cities and the parliament in Taiwan, again, using the same kind of uh, software, but uh, our uh, research is not, the literature is not yet as deep as Spain and this is something that I very much uh, have already learned from and is looking forward to go on uh, learning from.